Hi guys and welcome back to our monthly Pinterest. This month we are making painted dotted wine glasses. So this should be everything in your kit. You should get some paint, q-tips, tape, and of course the glass. The first thing we're going to want to do, clean your cup, make sure it's all clean so that the paint can stick and everything like that. And then you're going to take your tape and you're really going to be able to, you know, use your creativity here and just kind of decide what kind of design you want to do. Um, you could wrap it around in a straight line. You could set on a, num a letter or anything you want. Really the whole point is uh, of the tape is that wherever you put the tape, the paint is not going to go. And also it's gonna give you a nice clean edge. So for mine, I'm actually going to make um, like a, an angle here, a loop. Um, and the most important part is wherever you put that tape, again, the tape, that is where the paint is not going to go. But also if you're gonna use that as a straight line, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you really push the tape on and make sure that it is staying because you don't want any t uh, paint to get under there. So once you do that, I'm just gonna go over it and make sure. So my goal is I'm gonna put all the dots over here and then when I rip off the paint, it will be a nice uh, clean line. So I'm just gonna get all my paint ready. And this is the fun slash easy part. You're really literally just going to dot a bunch of dots. So you're gonna take it and you're just gonna start dotting everywhere. Um, the nice thing about the Q-tip is, you know, if you push it flat, it's gonna be a bigger dot. If you just do the tip, it's gonna be smaller. Um, but you're just gonna, really, you're just gonna go for it. Just gonna keep going and like I said wherever that tape is that's gonna be a nice clean line when you take that tape off so I'm gonna go right up to the line with mine I'm just gonna keep dotting and then um, when you want to take a break from a color I'm just gonna put that down for now and I'm gonna take another one I'm gonna start doing my red again just adding dots You can overlap your dots. You're gonna, you know, wanna make, cover that side. Um, it's up to you if you want to completely cover the side with paint. If you just wanna do dots, like I said, it's monthly Pinterest and the whole point is that you're able to make it your own and do whatever you want. So it's really up to you guys. And since I'm doing mine, you know, the colors while they're still wet, if you do overlap at all, you're going to get the colors are going to mix. So just keep that in mind. You could, if you wanted to, do a color, let it dry, add another coat. That's completely up to you. I'm just kind of going for it. Eventually, I will want my entire thing to be covered with dots, so I'm going to make sure that my coats, you know, I'm not worried about anything overlapping or dots or anything like that. So, let's start my third color. 